Welcome back. In this model, we are going to discuss on marketing of insurance. Students, you know very well that marketing is the backbone of any industry. Here, we are going to see the various aspects of marketing of insurance such as concept of insurance market, marketing strategies of insurance companies like product, pricing, distribution, promotion and customer service management. In the market, several players are engaged in rendering services to the general public such as housemates, watchmen, car drivers, doctors, lawyers, chartered accountants, transport companies, insurance companies, bankers, dry cleaners, restaurant owners, etc. Among the various services offered by these service providers, the services offered by the insurance companies are considered very peculiar and distinct. The insurance products appear distinct in various aspects. Let us see them one by one. Insurance is a contingent product whose utility is tested only in the event of an accident or disaster. It always has a negative connotation in the mind of the buyer. It deals with losses to the buyer. It is a product of future delivery and subject to benefit realization only on the occurrence of the contingent event. If it is a technical product that has a lot of legal jargon and with numerous legal principles peculiar to it making it difficult to comprehend. It is a contingent of financial promise made by the security provider and its benefit can be realized only after fulfilling a number of stipulations often unexplained at the time of commencement of contract. It is a product or service that has to be resolved annually to the same buyer and hence personal relationship and mutual trust are essential. As with all service products, it has limitations whose importance is highlighted only after the event. The fine print in the policy assumes a big role in the event of a claim. Both the contractual parties have passive roles unless an unfortunate event occurs. There is no emotional or psychological satisfaction in the purchase of insurance. It is a sense of relief. Since claim amounts very substantially, both the contractual parties worry above each other's interest, motives and actions. Experience of each customer is highly individualized with no standards to judge the performance and reputation of an insurer. Moral hazard on either side plays an important role in claim negotiation. Product innovations to keep abreast of changes in technology, political, economic and social spheres provide a far wider market. In view of these peculiarities, the general public do not come forward to buy the insurance policies willingly. Some people buy life policies for the purpose of getting tax exemption under section 80C. Some people have to go in for motor insurance as it is mandatory for everyone who drives his vehicle on the road. Some institutions should take fire policies, without them they cannot commence their business operations. Persons doing international trade are required to purchase marine policies whenever they import and export goods through sea. So, these people go in for insurance only out of legal compulsion and not due to interest in it. 
the attitude of the people towards insurance poses a great threat to the insurers. They find it very difficult to market their products. Marketing of their products has become a nightmare. They struggle a lot to pull the people towards them. In order to encourage the general public to go in for insurance, the insurers will have to follow certain marketing strategies with respect to product, pricing, distribution, promotion and customer service management. Before we discuss the marketing strategies adopted by different insurers, it is prudent to have knowledge about the concept of insurance market and the concept of insurance marketing. Students, do you know what is insurance market? Let us see the concept. The term market refers to a place where sellers and buyers sell and buy goods directly or through intermediaries. According to the Federation of Insurance Institute, Bombay, the term insurance market comprises a place where the insurers, the buyers and the intermediaries bring together. As such, like other commodity or service market, an insurance market also comprises three parties that is seller, insurance companies or insurers. Next, intermediaries, insurance agents or brokers or bankers and then buyers, insurance or prospective buyers. Do you know what is insurance marketing? The term insurance marketing refers to the marketing of insurance services with the motto of customer orientation and profit generation. A fair blend of profit generation and customer satisfaction makes the way for development and expansion. The insurance marketing focuses on the formulation of an ideal for the insurance business so that the insurers survive and thrive in the right perspective. The quality of services can be improved by formulating a fair mix of the core and peripheral services. The persuasion process can be speeded up with the support of creative promotional measures. The premium and bonus decisions can be made motivational. The gap between the service promised and the service offered can be bridged. The quality and value based personnel can make performance orientation possible and these developments can organizations strong enough to face the challenges and the threats in the market. Thus, the marketing concepts in the insurance business focuses on the formulation of marketing mix or a control over the whole group of marketing activities that make up an integrated marketing strategy. From these backdrops, the facts regarding the concept of marketing are derived. It is a managerial process. It is conceptualization of marketing principles. It is a process of formulating the marketing mix. It is a device which makes customer orientation possible. It is an attempt to help profit maximization. It is even a social process that paves venues for social transformation. It makes the products attractive. It is to energize the process of quality upgradation. Then we will look into the marketing strategies of insurance companies. Now we will discuss how the insurers adopt different strategies to win the market. In order to survive in the market and win over the confidence of the general public, the life insurance companies and the general insurance companies are required to adopt an effective marketing strategy with regard to product, pricing, distribution, promotion and customer service management. Now let us see about the product. Both life insurance companies and general insurance companies 
offer a wide array of products to cater to the requirements of different sections of the society. To show their superiority, they differentiate their products and services from the competitors. The product differentiation can achieved in terms of new products, identifying new target segments, tailored products and bundled products. So, what is new products? Giving pension products, unit linked policy, top up facilities, riders etc. Identifying new target segments, market expansion can be achieved by customizing the products for new segments. Recently, a insurance company launched a package cover for students that provides for competition of secondary level education if the yearning parent meets an accidental death. Next, tailored products. Sales agents, brokers and other intermediaries can help a potential customer identify all the risks that he or she may be exposed to and also help in devising a policy specifically tailored to the customer needs. Then we will see bundled products. Bundling refers to providing an insurance cover simultaneously with the purchase of another financial or commodity product. Then bundling with other financial products. The insurance product records upfront investments and thus fights for the share of the customer's wallet with other financial products like stocks, bonds, mutual funds, etc. Then bundling with commodity products. Insurance can be automatically provided when certain commodities are sold to the consumer. An example is automatic provision of dental insurance when toothpaste is sold. Then we will see the strategy of pricing. The major issue with respect to pricing the insurance product is in relation to the fixing the premium rates. In life insurance, the rate of premium is determined on the basis of death rate. Higher the death rate, higher the premium and lower the death rate, lower amount of premium are the principles to keep on moving the defined principle of fixing the premium. In general insurance, different rates of premium are applied for different classes of risks. Such rates are regulated and controlled by the tariff advisory committee. The new insurance companies should focus on collecting the past data which may be existing with the nationalized insurance companies like LIC and GIC to study how the fixing of premium was done by them in the past. They should consider the things like expenses, risk profile, taxation etc. before fixing the rates of premium. The next strategy is of distribution. Traditionally, the life insurers used to market their products through agents and the general insurers used to sell their products through development offices. But this is an era of liberalized market where competition rules the industry, new channels of distribution have been found out. The various channels of distribution that are present in the insurance sectors are direct marketing channels also known as zero level channel. It consists of a company selling directly to the final customer. In other words, service providers are more likely to visit corporate customers at their premises than to visit individuals in their homes reflecting a larger volume associated with business to business transactions. LIC has adopted the direct marketing approach to develop the group assurance market. As such, it has succeeded in keeping the cost ratios under group policies at very low levels. Private insurers are also engaging in direct marketing to high net worth individuals through channels like worksite marketing, 
a relatively inexpensive and easy launch potential distribution channels. Agents These people do not take a title to goods and services and perform only a few functions. These people are not on the roles of the company and work as agents between the insurance company and the customer. Their main function is to facilitate buying and selling for which they earn a commission on the selling price. Generally, they specialize on product line or customer type. The role of the agent today is becoming more and more important. He is no longer looked upon as simply an agent but also seen as a financial advisor. Then brokers. Brokers are like agents but with a difference. While agents get the license to sell policies of only one life insurance company and one non-life insurance company at a time. A broker can sell policies of several life and non-life insurance companies at the same time. Brokers are like consultants who analyze their clients needs and provide solutions. Under section 41 of the insurance act 1938 prohibits the offer of an direct or indirect inducement including rebating to procure insurance business. Towards this end the IRDA started taking action on brokers indulging in rebating and has called for submission of detailed returns from brokers relating to their activities. The brokers are expected to submit monthly statements on brokerage received and payments made out of this brokerage on a continuous basis. And next third parties. Distribution through third parties means that it is those companies rather than the insurers who often uh, reap the benefits of customer loyalty. This accelerated the shift of insurance to a commodity product. It is a fact that private insurance companies are relying heavy on third parties like post office, car dealers, supermarkets, travel agencies including sugar cooperatives, trade union, microfinancing in agencies and even welfare organizations like help age. Then corporate agents. This involves uh, types with non-banking finance companies to act as corporate agents. This enables insurers to cross-sell with other financial services. The corporate agency system works a lot like brokers except for the fact that they are restricted to selling a single insurer's products. There are more than 1000 corporate agents in the country. In reality, corporate agents have been able to get better deals from the insurers and they actually earn more than the brokers in some business. The insurance sector needs to develop alternative distribution channels as it is not a viable channel for insurers. Then bank assurance. It symbolizes the convergence of banking and insurance. The term involves distribution of insurance products through a bank's branch network. In concrete terms, bank assurance which is also known as all finance describes a package of financial services that can fulfill both banking and insurer needs at the same time. Bank assurance as a means of distribution of insurance products already in force in India in some form or the other. Banks are selling personal accident and baggage insurance directly to their customers as a value addition to their products. Banks are also participating in the distribution of mortgage linked insurance products like fire, motor or cattle insurance to their customers. Even IRDA bill in India has stimulated the growth of bank assurance by allowing the multiple distribution channels by banks and insurance companies. Then internet. As a distribution channel, the internet facilities information flow, negotiation flow, service flow, transaction flow 
and promotion flow. Compared to the traditional channels, the internet is definitely better for conducting research on customer information seeking and search behaviors for getting feedback from consumers in a short period of time and for creating communities offline. Internet sales will experience explosive growth. Another more important strategy is promotion. The basis idea of a promotion is to inform the buyers about the availability of certain goods and services. It is the process of communicating the product information to the potential buyers. Promotion involves the performance of several activities that facilitates selling. These activities include sales promotion, advertising and personal selling. Then sales promotion. The term sales promotion refers to all promotional activities undertaken by the marketer other than advertising and personal selling. Window display of goods, free gift offers, exchange offers etc are examples of sales promotional activities. In India, sales promotion activities of insurers even in the pre-nationalization days had been limited to various competitions and incentive schemes such as profit commission, bonus commission etc paid to the sales force through one life insurance company had introduced a table clock which could run only if two coin was inserted in it daily. Then advertising. Advertising a paid form of pervasive communication is found important to promote the insurance business. It can be used to remind the existing or prospective customers about certain special drives, offers, concessions or facilities being made available or as in the case of a life insurance policy to remind the existing policy holders to pay their premiums. New India's advertisements about the householders comprehensive policy can provide an instance of market advertising while GIC's advertisement about additional covers available with the fire policies at a very nominal cost and LIC's advertisement which used to appear on the first of every month exhorting policyholders to pay their premiums if due or advisory and reminder types of advertisements respectively. And then personal selling. Among the various promotional strategies, personal selling occupies a place of outstanding significance. This is due to the fact that the insurance business is substantially influenced by the instrumentality of agents and the rural carrier agents. If they are aware of the art of informing, sensing and persuading the potential policy holders, the task of insurance companies is simplified considerably. Then customer service. The insurers offer uh, numerous services to their policy holders. Some of them are ease of payment of premiums. Payment terms and easy payment facilities can also be a powerful differentiator. There can be a facility provided for payment of products at least for the renewals through ATMs, credit cards or on the internet. This could save a lot of uh, time for the end customer and also free up the agents to focus on sales. Moreover, it would able to help in cutting the administrative cost and boosting the company's bottom line. Then easier claim settlement. World over underwriting risk claims management, risk surveys etc are very simplified due to technology. Indian players can look into these aspects to create differentiation and then training of agents and customer relationship management. Insurance is a product that is typically sold and not bought. 
insurance products need a significant amount of hand holding and explanation at least when customer is new to this concept or the particular insurance category agents are the face of the company and well trained agents serve not only as a signaling mechanism regarding the company's credibility and financial solvency but also as one of the most important parameters of customer satisfaction the agent should earn the role of a trusted advisor and help the customer in identifying various risks that he or she is exposed to at different times and the various covers available for the same moreover effective use of a crm tool would help to identify cross selling opportunities needs at various stages of the customer's life cycle and also study consumer behavior to identify possible moral hazards even setting up a call center and helplines to provide customers full time service can go a long way in building relationship then e service e service or customer service through the internet and email will play a vital role in facilitating the process of servicing insurance products insurers should realize their ability to provide superior e service apart from e sales to their policy holders in this session we discussed on the marketing concepts and the marketing strategies of the insurance companies in the next session we will look into the more detailing of insurance marketing in india have a good day